Javier, we're here on the Courier stand, obviously, at the, the, the Beam Show. You're one of the only companies I can see is actually cutting metal here. Is this part of, is this important for you? And, and clearly it's attracting attention. Oh yes, we, we, we try to cut in every exhibition because uh, one of our, um, one of the pillars of our product uh, positioning is a robustness. So there is no better way to show the robustness of the head and the machine than cutting. And, and, we, can, and we can see here that, that, it's, that you're interpolated around this part, but the extension of the RAM, it's right at its kind of end point, isn't it? Is that part of what you're trying to illustrate? Yeah, yeah, exactly. We, we define this, this part, which is like a ring, in the way that uh, part of the cutting is done with the RAM fully extended, so we can show the, the, the customers how, the, how robust is the machine and the head, even in the, in the worst conditions. Yeah. And how do you make get that support so it is so so true wherever it's machining? Well, we, we, have a, we always use mechanical systems to compensate the angular errors, uh, the, 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 the normal angular errors that all the machines have. In this case, we have like two uh, steel bars going through the RAM, and we tighten those bars and we put an electronic level and then we ensure that the, 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 the RAM in its movement is going uh, straight perf perfectly with no angular error. Um, tell me about this machine because there's a lot going on in here. There's a lot of capability, isn't there? Yeah. Well, it's a, it's a bedtime machine. It's one of our most uh, successful uh, bedtime machines. It's a Norman model. And in this case, the, the x-axis is 3.5 meters. The RAM movement is 1.2, but it can be 1.5, and the vertical is 1.5, but it could be 2 meters. It's very flexible because we have the table, and then we have a rotary table integrated in one side. We, we can even decide if you want the rotary table in the, at the center or in the left side or in the right side, and the, the, the rotary table can be a milling rotary table, like in, like in this case, but also can be a turning rotary table. I mean, you as a business, you, you do exceptionally well around not just Spain in the domestic market, but around the globe, aren't you? In, I mean, all we seem to hear these days is new courier installations, and I know we do a lot with you guys, but what, why such success, do you think, in recent times? Well, I think we, we changed our strategy uh, like 15 years back, and also with our new CEO, uh, created a, a new strategy, and uh, now, we were able to keep this strategy going and, and uh, improve our service and improve some of the machine features and expand our brand to different markets and different applications. And I think as a consequence of, of that, in the last five years is where, where we see you know, the results of that. Is it because as well though, a traveling column machine, for example, used to just be a milling machine, but now you've, you've got so many different possibilities with your product, haven't you? That I suppose it opens it up to a much broader range of applications. Right, I mean, we, yeah, exactly. We have upgraded our product range, uh, making our, our machines a real solution, uh, a real machining solution for big parts. So now we, we turn, now we mill, we grind, even we, we, we make pallet changes systems. So we, we, we upgrade our technology uh, significantly in the last uh, 10 years. And you've had some investment recently locally, haven't you, where these machines are built, a new place, a new facility, something yeah. we're going to see and be broadcasting in the, in the coming weeks or months. Tell us about that. We are making now two very important projects. Uh, the first one is we are expanding our assembly line because we need more space and more capacity. This is going to be done during this year, this expansion. So we are going to expand about 4,000 square meters extra. And then the other project, which is a bigger one, is our new machining shop for our own frames. And this uh, project is going on now. It will take uh, maybe one and a half or two years. And we are going to install all new Korea machines with the highest degree of automation and digitalization to produce our own frames in a most productive way, in the most accurate way, and also to, to have a showroom uh, for our customers. I really look forward to seeing it and broadcasting it to our audience, but for, for this show here, Javier, how important is it for you being a local, a local company within reason? Um, you know, is it a good show? Is it a big show? Is it a really important fixture in your calendar? Because you guys are everywhere these days. Well, I mean, the VM show exhibition for us is very important because we are uh, members of the Spanish Machine Tool Association, and this is our exhibition. So um, this is this is this is the, the, the market where we are, 
and, and, and this is not only important for customers, but it's important because all our suppliers are coming, all our partners, our friends. Um, so of course, Bilbao Show is our exhibition. So we must be here and we are very happy to be here always. And are the evenings as interesting as the, the, the days? Do you enjoy the evenings as well? Yes, yes, <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> Better not to talk about it. <laughs>